First about the game, it seemed like when you allowed me to kind of get that one hit, kind of shut down and let you guys just press and press and press. Um, talk about your team, you know, 34 shots, 17 on goal, just kept pressing, kept going. Um, just talk about your team. Well, you know, I thought they came out focused. I thought our team came out focused. They knew what they had to do, and they went after it from from the first whistle. Um, we knew what we had to do offensively to get ourselves that opportunity, to get ourselves good looks, and they were disciplined in their play, and they did it. Um, so I was really proud of them. I thought they played phenomenal, first half and second half. Um, again, one one miss mark um, in the midfield there, and you know that the wind was kind of swirly today, and it just kind of swirled around, and it just threw Heather off just a bit, and unfortunately, it went slipped right under. Um, that go that crossbar, but um, we had lots of opportunities and lots of <laughs> hit a crossbar, hit everything. But um, but to, again, I thought my team played very well. Um, I thought they should be proud of them. I told them you need to raise your head, put your shoulders back because again, I thought they played phenomenal today and they looked good. They looked like a team. They you know they played well. Um, the forwards were shooting, the outside mids were shooting, and everybody was following up. So again, you know, some sometimes it's just not the cards, and, and unfortunately, I think this year was like that. Um, I, I, it seemed like you guys came out with, especially early, mm -hmm. um, that you guys weren't looking for, you know, you weren't, you weren't judging it off the App State result. It was just like, let's get the win, let's get us, get, get our yes. job done, things like that. Was that the mentality? Don't worry about the outside. Oh, oh yeah, definitely. There's no way I could, uh, you know, think about like. What, you know what's going on in the rest of the conference. The, we knew what we had to do, and we, we needed to take care of our business, and then we would go back and look at the results and see what happened. Um, that was the main focus, and that was been the focus all week. Um, so the idea was just to get in there and get our job taken care of. And again, I thought they did. I thought they did a brilliant job. It's just, you know, one of those years, you know, that lots of shots, lots of good things happening. Um, sometimes it just don't go in, and it, and it stinks in soccer's like that. Um, you know, you can dominate and dominate, and then all of a sudden, you know, that, that darn ball just won't go in. I mean, we've seen it all across, you know, all different types of leagues. Um, but that's soccer, you know, and uh, that's why you get up and you dust yourself off and you play every day. And, and the seniors, uh, Maddie Nichols, Lauren Prater, uh, Allie Jones, uh, Taylor Allen, Clarissa Leon, you know, they're phenomenal people, not just phenomenal soccer players, they're phenomenal people. And that's what I told them. And they said, you know, it's, this, this adversity we faced this year was like, um, you know, strong wind on, on trees. And I don't think any of them broke. I think they bent, but they didn't break. They kept their mentality of being strong, being courageous, and being confident, and being that impact. Um, and I think that transfers not just in soccer. I think it transfer, transfer, transfers over into life. And that's the type of people they are. Um, they're great young women who uphold high standards for themselves and for each other. And so I think they're going to go on and do great things. You're going to see them being, you know, rising stars of alumni soon. I really believe that, and, they're, and I'm feel fortunate that I get a chance to coach all of them. Coach, could you just talk a little bit more about the effort that maybe some of the, the two Bobcats that got injured, you know, they're seniors, yeah. but, you know, they still put their 110%. You know, what, what, is that something that you like seeing from your players? Actually, we had three Bobcats in today. Um, Clarissa, Clarissa Leone went in for that, um, you know, one with the goalkeeper and kind of got a knee into the back and stiffened up on her really bad. So, again, that just shows the grit and the you know, fortitude of just getting in there and trying to make something happen. I, I love that effort. I love that mentality. That's what Bobcats are about, you know, never giving up and always fighting. Um, and then, of course, you had Alyssa uh, um, Phelan go in and um, got kicked in the foot, and so she had to come out in the first half uh, and then get a chance to get back in. But, again, she's a player that loves to go out and loves to get you on your back foot and create something for her teammates. So unfortunately, we didn't get a get hurt in in the second half. But again, you know, I love that aggressiveness. I love that creativity. That's what I love about these players. They're so technical, and they love to just create golden opportunities. Um, and of course, then you have Brooke Ramsey, who uh, went down in that first overtime. And again, she was having a phenomenal game, and she's just so good. She can shoot. <laughs> she can shoot. She can cross. She can get on the end of crosses. And she just is so creative, and just such, such a mindset of like trying to fight for every ball. I, I love her mentality. You know, there's a walk-on that came in, Alyssa Phelan, a walk-on. Um, and they came in and they've earned themselves scholarship money and they've earned themselves starting positions. So, yeah, when you, t when you say talk about those players, that's exactly what Bobcats are. Bobcat soccer is like that. You know, you come in and the world is your oyster. It's up to you. You can make your golden opportunities and they take it by the horns and they just go. And, uh, and they have the talent and they're creative and they're fit. So I, I love this team. I love these players. They're, they're, the, they're the best. Um, I'm sad to see the season end so quickly. Uh,
Yeah, I think they're 